Hi, this is a video on how to install a network fax dryer for a Kyocera device that has a that has an embedded fax uh, option. To uh, start, let's go to the Kyocera website to download the driver. Uh, it is kyoceradocumentsolutions.com. Once you're on there, uh, go to the support and download link select which uh, region you're from or country or so I'm selecting the United States since uh, we're in the United States and then select the this is the category of uh, machines that you want to download for the now the machine that has the uh, fax option we're going to install today is a big machine that can do up to uh, 11 by 17 sheets so that's what this a3 uh, MFP means is is their machines that can take up to uh, print up to 11 by 17 uh, page uh, prints. Uh, the smaller ones that will do letter size is the one that has A4. So we'll go to A3 and go to products. And when you're downloading for uh, a fax uh, option, you have to go to the specific uh, machine. The machine that we're going to install, the fax we're going to install is a task alpha 50 uh, 7052 ci once that is uh selected then you go to where you have uh, what type of downloads you not, you need so we'll go with drivers since uh the network fax uh is a driver uh and then it gives you a whole bunch of drivers uh so all i do is just go here and say since I'm using Windows 10, I'm just going to go select Windows 10, and this will reduce the number of uh, downloads uh, on this page. And as you can see here, these are the different drivers and what they do. The Twain driver, and here's our uh, Kyocera Network Fax Print driver. So once you click on this, it will download the driver. I've already downloaded the driver because it does take a while to, to download them, so let's go to uh, the driver that I downloaded it is in this folder here um, so all you do is get it to double click on that to run run the application it will then uh, extract the file and uh, will bring up the product library so where you can then load the the driver so all I do is say accept and OK uh, I go to custom install and it sees the machines that have has the fax option it sees my uh, 7052 there are other machines on this network that I'm at that has fax options also but they don't show up because I'm looking specifically for this model so I select the uh, IP address that of this machine and I click the arrow here to to uh, move it over there and then from down here I select the fax driver and I click on that there we go and then once I select the machine and the, the kind of driver that I'm going to need which is the fax driver I just then select install this will install the driver and also something called an uninstaller that if later on you don't want to uh, you want to uninstall that you can do that um, and then uh, these aren't sometimes these aren't signed so just go ahead and tell it to install once it's done you select finish and you can check out of here and close that button also so I have my my uh, printers here um, so I'll look over here and here's my my 7052 network fax driver so if I go in here and I say go to printer properties you'll see a bunch of stuff here that uh, if you go to preferences it will it doesn't give you a lot a lot of options like a regular print driver would do uh, gives you you know 200 by 200 resolution that's kind of like a normal uh, resolution for a fax and the fax settings are in here this is where you can actually tell the the fax driver. This is like on preferences. You can tell the drivers what to do. You can do a delay transmission. So if you're doing say a lot of faxing, say you don't want to do it in the middle of the day where they're they're uh, 
you know, using the fax a lot, you can set a, you know, fax delay and tell it, okay, I want to start doing, sending out these faxes at 11 o'clock tonight or something like that. You can also say transmit and print. So what it'll do is it'll, after it transmits the, the fax, it'll print out the, the, the copy of the fax on the machine. Uh, and then you have a confirmed dialog box to make sure that it has gone through. Uh, cover sheets. These are cover sheets that are on the machine. So if you select this, there's different, you can preview different types of cover sheets that, that it has. Um, different styles and things like that. So, uh, and then also you can edit the message in there. You can put a message on the bottom of the, of the, um, of the uh, uh, cover sheet so we'll do we'll do that and then if I go well let's preview that here's my my message down here so you can do hey, this is confidential you know this is you know not the way to send it back or anything when you send it back different number um, the authentication so if you get, if you have your machine lock down to say using job accounting so you use a code to get into the machine to do faxes and stuff like that um, you're gonna have to select a job accounting and put your code in here that way the machine will accept your your fax and then send it or if you're using a, a login um, uh, if you're using a login say username and password on your machine to log in to open the machine you're gonna have to put that in here um, and then the sender information you put in your company name, uh, department, your name, your telephone number and, and stuff. So it, it is important here. So if you put the, um, enter an email address in here, what, what you can do with this email address, if you put it in there, you send the, the, uh, after you send your fax, what will happen is if you have, uh, if you told the machine to send you a confirmation page, it will email you back uh, a confirmation page. Uh, a few settings that have to be set up on the machine in order for you to do that is you have to allow the machine to uh, scan to email or send to email. That way it uses the, that option to send back the uh, send back the email confirmation email to you. But these are where your your information go into. Um, and the letter size is the, the size for doing that. And if I were to say, okay, I just want to print this, what's going to happen is, uh, it says, okay. And you'll see that it pops up with this thing here. This is transmission control. This is where, uh, your, your, uh, file is going to go. You're going to see, here's a number that, or here's where you put in your number. So I will put in, you know, uh, two, 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 five, five, one, two, one, two, or I think I have a two, five, 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 one, two, one, two. And I can then say, add this to a destination. I can just hit send from here, but if I'm going to send the same document to another a number also, I can say, add this to a destination. I'll put in another, uh, another number in here and keep telling it to add um, so the cover page this is where you have your cover page and you can uh, select your cover page if you want to, to have it attached to that uh, to that fact you're sending and here are some of those options I showed you before your uh, sender information goes in here this is if you're just doing it from here when you're sending it uh, if you if you put it in the uh, in the section that we were on say in preferences and then go in here and do it it those those fields will already be uh populated for you when you're ready for that and then uh you hit send and it will go through and uh start dialing number and sending it i don't have uh that this machine is not so uh connected to a fax uh line anyways but this is how you install your your uh your uh, fax driver for the the Kyocera kicks uh, devices or um, thank you for watching